welcome back to UNC Beauty Channel. This is a channel where I talk everything about Malaysia's local property knowledge, latest trend, uh, including new property launches, especially for Penang Island and Mainland. So today, uh, this topic that I'm going to share is about what can JMB or MC do when you have defaulted in your maintenance payment. I would say uh, of late, more and more Malaysians are buying and also living in high-rise like condominium and even gated and guarded uh, landed property so they are JMB or MC who will be taking care of this strata development so in the event when uh, an owner, a parcel owner were to default in the maintenance payments usually JMB or MC they would carry out uh, different kind of measures in order to tackle the default problem so there comes the contentions as to whether uh, are those measures that is being carried out by this JMB or MC, are they legally empowered to do that? I have even received questions from my existing customers asking me whether uh, is the JMB or MC legally empowered to uh, display the name of those defaulted lists publicly like on no day spot. So uh, I was thinking since more and more Malaysians will be uh, staying in a high rise or stratified uh, property and I'm very sure that uh, sooner or later they may also come across a, a issue like this and they would definitely would want to know what are the things that uh, JMP or MC is legally empowered to do and also to know what is their right as a consumer so this is what uh, drives me to make this video today where I'm going to share with everyone legally what are the things or measures that a JMB or MC uh, is empowered to carry out uh, to go against those defaulters who have defaulted in making payment in their maintenance. So uh, without further ado, uh, let us start with what are the things that JMB or MC is allowed to do in the event if you have defaulted in your maintenance payment. As you can see from the slide over here, which I have prepared. Legally, uh, when you have defaulted in your maintenance payment, the first thing that uh, the JMB or MC is allowed to do is, is to display your name publicly, like usually on the notice spot. Okay? Secondly, they are also uh, allowed to prevent defaulters from using shared facilities like uh, swimming pool, gym, jacuzzi, barbecue pit and, and etc. Huh? And third, they are also uh, allowed to prevent defaulters from accessing common areas. Fourth, even up to suspending the access card because most of those condominium uh, buildings and even gated and guarded usually uh, whenever you want to access to the guard house, you would need uh, an access card, right? Even in order to access to the lobby. So they are empowered to deactivate your access card in the event if you failed and defaulted in your maintenance payment. Okay? And fifth, um, this is a measure which I think not many JMB or MC is uh, uh, doing it, which is they can instruct security guard to follow you to your unit but provided there is no elements of harassment. I would say this is a very fine line to say whether uh, has the action of the security guard um, bring about harassment or contain the elements of harassment or not. And I highly suspect due to these grey areas, most of JMB or MC are not implementing this measure. Of course, the next one, they are also uh, empowered to serve a letter of demands to defaulters who have defaulted in your maintenance payments and even can sue you in the strata management tribunal provided the amount in contention does not exceed Ringgit Malaysia 250,000 and the eight, they can also apply for warrant of attachment from COB where they can attach all those warrants on the movable furniture inside the defaulters unit in order to auction off and to use the proceed from the auction to pay for the arrears in your maintenance and lastly do not forget they are also allowed to uh, submit your name and your record to CTOS and Secrets so if you have record in CTOS and Secrets you would know what would happen you would not be able to get a loan from the bank so it's very important not to default in your maintenance fees Okay, so now that you have understand what are the things or measures that JMB and MC is legally empowered to carry out in the event you have defaulted in your maintenance payment, now let us talk about what are the measures that they are legally not empowered to do or not allowed to do. Which some JMB or MC are doing. 
okay firstly if you look at this list uh, JMB or MC is not allowed to prevent defaulter from entering his own lawful unit even though despite they have a uh, defaulted in your maintenance payment it does not change the fact that they are still the lawful parcel owner or parcel proprietor towards the units okay secondly jmb or mc is also not allowed to prevent defaulter from selling off their unit rest assured during the selling transaction which is from signing of spa 3 plus 1 month right before the buyer's lawyer release the final uh, payment to the to the seller they will usually ask for the latest maintenance uh, statement of account from the management and they will make sure that this sellers settle off all the outstanding up to date before they release the final payment to the seller so the issue of the sellers not uh, paying their maintenance or having arrears in their maintenance and passing the bucks to the next buyer would not arise okay unless the buyer's lawyer did not do their due diligence lah, okay so the next one is that uh, uh, the JMB or MC is also not legally not allowed to prevent defaulter from using their car park lot. This in actual fact has happened before where the JMB and MC actually disallow uh, the defaulter from, from accessing his car park lot based on the ground that he has defaulted in his maintenance payment and in the end this parcel owner actually sued the JMB or MC to the court. The court actually ruled it in the favor of the uh, parcel owner and says that JMB or, or MC is legally not allowed to obstruct parcel owner from accessing or using his own car park lot even if he has uh, arrears or defaulted in his maintenance fees payment. Instead, the JMB or MC is supposed to address uh, the issue of defaultment using the measures that I have, I have listed out earlier what are the measures that they can do uh, in the event uh, parcel owner or parcel proprietors defaulted in their maintenance payment okay then the, the next one of course JMB or MC also not allow to put the defaulter under house arrest do not forget JMB or MC is just a caretaker to take care of the strata development they are not police enforcer okay they are not policemen and the final one JMB or MC is also not allowed to severe or stop electricity and water supply to the defaulter's unit and this thing has also happened before in the market where the JMB or MC actually cut off the water and electricity supply to the defaulter's unit and this matter was being brought to court and in the end the court actually ruled in the favor of the parcel owner so I hope today after you watch my video, if currently you are staying in the high rise or in landed which is a stratified uh, property where you have JMB or MC taking care of the strata development, you would know uh, very clearly now what are the things that JMB or MC is allowed to do and what are the things they are not allowed to do. So if you like my video thus far, do remember to give a thumbs up to my video, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my future video uploads. Okay, till then, thanks for watching and bye!